Welcome to the BIF Talks of the 36th Braunschweig International Film Festival, where we talk with our film guests about the current films, the filmmaking process, and we take a closer look behind the scenes. My name is Julia Rutkowska, and here with me is Flor van der Meulen, director of Pink Moon. Flor, it's great to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. In Pink Moon, there is Young. He is 74 years old. He seems to be in good shape and good health for his age. And while having dinner with his family, he suddenly has to make an announcement to them. What is it and how do they react? What happens? Yes, Jan has uh, invited his whole family and they're having dinner and he's announcing that he will not turn, uh, well, 76. He thinks he'll turn 75 soon, but not 76 because he feels his life is complete. So he wants to end his life. And um, his son and daughter are in complete shock when he tells them. And from there you follow the story mostly of his daughter Iris, who uh, doesn't agree with his decision. Especially for her it's very difficult. Yes. She already lost another. Yeah, her mother died when she was young. And um, I mean, her older brother has his own family with children, but she's alone. and. Uh, She's just very, uh, she doesn't understand, so she uh, is not willing to let him go. Yes, so it's about this journey. Yeah. Um, so the film is about the topic of euthanasia. It's a very difficult topic. How do you approach it sensitively? Well, originally it's interesting that the film, for me, started with a father-daughter relationship and the inability to truly understand what goes on in the other person. And then in the Netherlands, um, there became uh, a political discussion because there's a growing number of elderly people who want to have the choice to end their own life when they feel they're done, which is slightly different from euthanasia because euthanasia is legal in the Netherlands, but then you have to be very sick. Um, and this is a sort of assisted suicide that they are trying to get legalized. Yeah. And so you came up with the idea? Yeah. So when that discussion happened in, in the Netherlands, we thought that might be interesting to maybe use as a sort of ticking time bomb under the whole story. So um, because it's also about, well, my fear of losing my parents. I think when you turn 30 or a little bit older, you suddenly realize or you see that they're getting old, which is very um, confronting, I would say. So I think this also has to do that, that why we chose. Maybe if it's a father who is not just dying, but really decides to die, how would you respond? And yes, and maybe it's, it's even a bit more difficult uh, if he's like still healthy yes, and could exactly. have 20 more years. Yes, yeah. it's almost absurd. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the topic is, is very difficult, but there are very funny moments in the film yeah. too. How did you find the balance between this sad, emotional and humorous moments? Yes, I think for me and the writer Bastian Kruger, it was very important from the beginning that it's, I mean, it's a heavy theme, but it's not that it's not like, how do you say, that it's not sad from beginning till end, because I think confronting it with the end of life, uh, it also makes you more alive maybe, or it brings these absurd moments. Um, so we really chose to also have these light moments in it, in contrast to the sad, so that the sad moments are even more painful maybe. Um, and I think that's life. It's the balance between these moments. Uh, uh, it's the whole emotional scala that we have and I wanted to use in this film. Uh, and it's a very fine line to balance, I would say, because if you do, you go too much to the laughter, it becomes um, uh, unbelievable, maybe, right? You can, it's a really fine line, what is uh, comedy and tragic comedy, I would say, yeah. yeah. Speaking about the good moments, um, what was your favorite part about filming? Do you have something that was... Uh, well, it's just amazing to be able to shoot your first film, like feature length, and... Um, also, again, I mean, the theme is heavy, but on set we had a lot of fun together. And um, I mean, I come from the Netherlands, it's very flat. And then um, she kidnaps her father to the mountains. So for me, that was amazing to shoot in the mountains. Uh, very difficult as well, <laughs> but also very nice. And um, yeah, just shooting the different scenes, rehearsing with the actors. It was really 
nice process. That sounds great. So as you already said, um, Pink Moon is your first feature length film. You did documentaries before. Yes. Um, can you tell one big difference between making documentaries and the feature film? Mm. There's a lot of similarities, but one big difference, I think, well, of course, it's working with actors, which is very different from working with like characters in daily life. Um, and to, I mean, you have the opportunity to really control everything on set almost. That's the main difference for me. I think in documentary, there's always something happening that you can't or you didn't expect. Uh, and this element of surprise is sometimes really nice, actually. So I also try to have these moments in fiction, but it's more controlled. So sometimes uh, it's also good to realize that you need some playfulness also in fiction, I think. Right. And so you will have another second screening uh, here at the booth with Pink Moon right yes. after this interview. And I think you're very busy with your current film, but can we expect other projects from you? Any Soon? Yes, I mean, I'm working on my second feature with the same team because uh, we really enjoyed working together. And uh, again, we're writing a, a tragic comedy and it's a family story, but uh, takes a long time financing, shooting, everything. So the first film, Pink Moon, took five years. I hope this one is a little bit faster. So that's coming up and I'm also still making documentaries. Okay, then hopefully we'll see you at the booth again <laughs> next time. That would time. be nice, yes. Okay. <laughs> and thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>